Right, get in. Get in the zone. Do, do, do. Oh my God, quilted. That's what we were looking for. Not bashing Primark because you know, you know you're my number one Primark. So you'll see me in Nando's rocking a long puff sleeve bardo top and leather trousers and heels. Have I done this whole video not looking at the camera? Breathe, that might help. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, it's not really a channel yet because this is the first video, but I wanted to do this for so, so long. Um, probably since I was about 15, so 10 years ago. Um, but I thought, why not? Why not just jump out my comfort zone and give it a go. So I've been buying lots of autumn winter clothes recently going into the colder months. So I thought, let's do a little haul for you. A lot from Primark and H&M and some other places too. But yeah, this is what we've got going on. So I thought I'd show you, do some little try-ons. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see from me because obviously I'm new to this so I have no clue what people want to watch but yeah thank you so the first thing that I got was this blazer here and um, this is from Boohoo I'm going to insert like a little cutout so you can see like the full outfit I've just paired it with um, a white boxy t-shirt little gold necklace to accessorize and my white air force yeah i think it's super cute i love the color it on the website it was um more like a camel nude color but i'm glad that it came and it's this rust rust color so yeah padded shoulders really super flattering it's quite oversized though i would say um probably size down two sizes now i got this in a 10 and it is like huge so yeah i definitely think they've made this super super oversized really good to wear with um hoodies underneath I think that'll be really cute um, with like a black hoodie, all black outfit, throw on the blazer, some trainers and you're good to go. So the next thing that I got was this khaki um, puffer style quilted jacket from Boohoo. There's actually more Boohoo things in here than I thought. I did a little haul, um, I did a little haul the other day actually. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be a lot in here um, and it's super cute. It's actually got little drawstring things here so you can make it like super cropped um if you want it more fitted but i quite like it oversized and baggy i got uh i got a size 10 in this and it is um just a little bit oversized so i definitely say stick to your true sizing in that one so this is the next thing i'm absolutely obsessed with this coat i feel like it's one of those jackets that just makes your outfit look so cute not that you could wear any outfit with it i feel like an all black or um, like a really neutral outfit underneath because obviously the check print is so like in your face. Um, so this is from New Look and they only had a size 12 on the website. Um, I'd normally get like a 10, but I'm glad that I got a 12. The way it fits, um, it's a little bit oversized and I really, really like that. It's got um, a little tie around waist thing here. And so yeah, um, this is gonna be one of my favorite jackets for winter. So this I bought literally probably about two days ago. Um, you might have seen it on my stories recently if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, Jenny X Marsh, shave tape to myself. So this one is a shacky, which if you don't know is a shirt jacket. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than a shirt, but a little bit lighter than a jacket. Um, so this is what I got. This actually came up super oversized when I tried it on in store. I got a uh, two times extra small. Now. I'd never normally get that, but this I knew to do. But it's so cute. I love the but uh, button detailing down there. They're proper like chunky buttons, really like oh snuggly. Um, this video is going to be so cringe. Just letting you know. <sighs> I feel like I can't breathe because I feel like so nervous to do. It, but I'm I'm glad I'm doing it because I'm getting out my comfort zone. So this next piece is um an oversized sweatshirt and i got this from missy empire um i actually got the inspo from um a girl that i follow on instagram called dion crow if you don't follow her you need to and i actually got the whole outfit i bought the sweatshirt and she paired it with some flare split hem leggings and i yeah i got everything 
So this is the sweatshirt and it um, says St. Moritz on there. It's like embroidered. It's not like a sticker. It's actually like sewn onto the fabric. But yeah, I just love the colour. I think it's super comfy um, for autumn, winter. Um, and yeah, I'll probably be wearing this loads. You can throw on um, a big chunky coat over it, some um, black skinny jeans, leather trousers, trainers. The next thing that I got was from Primark. Now I'm obsessed with this. If you could feel how soft this is, it's amazing. So this is a, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a hood. I know it's a hoodie, but I wouldn't class it as a hoodie because I feel like it's a bit more of a premium hoodie. It's actually so super super soft and it's like a knitted material um, and this I would pair with maybe a black um, black blazer actually I'd probably yeah I'd style it with a black blazer some um, leather trousers and if I wanted to keep it super casual I'd go with some trainers and if I wanted to dress it up a little bit I'd probably stick on some um, black boots the next thing that I got was this long sleeve puff Bardo top. I know we can't go anywhere because of COVID, but for meals, I literally feel like when we go out for meals now, we've got to dress up because we can't dress up anywhere else. So you'll see me in Nando's rocking a long puff sleeve Bardo top and leather trousers and heels. Oh, this is um, the next piece. I got this from Missy Empire. And with this piece, I would style it with some mom jeans, maybe a little tan belt, some sandals, or um, with some heels to make it a little bit more dressy. So the next thing that I got is going to be a staple in my wardrobe. Um, last year I purchased some leather trousers from Primark. Now I don't know about you but with some things from Primark the material when you like legs rub together the material comes off and then they start to look a bit like yeah not nice um so this year i wanted to get some super shiny pleather um trousers so these ones were from h&m and i'll just show you they've actually got like an elasticated waist which amazing um and i got these in a size out they are a little bit of a like squeeze to get in but once you're in you are in um and they've just got this detail down the front i don't know if you can see there but i'm going to put a little cut out so you can see how i would style them which is probably with every outfit i've done in this haul um so yeah definitely a staple h&m i did buy some from primark which are exactly the same the h&m ones were 17 pounds and the primark were 10 but i'm going to return the primark ones because i feel like the h&m ones are slightly better quality I'm not bashing primark because you know you know you're my number one primark now this isn't from like this year i haven't purchased this um recently this was maybe a couple of years ago but i thought i'd include it because it's one of my staple autumn winter pieces and it's a leather jacket a good leather jacket um and it's from h&m and i actually think i got it i think i got it in the sale um i think i paid about 20 pounds which it's unreal for a leather jacket um but yeah it's super good quality it's not like a flimsy thin leather jacket and i will just show you here so this next piece is from H&M. Um, now, when I bought this, I just wanted it to wear with like my leather jacket, some um, skinny jeans, my boots, just a little bit of a like a rocker vibe t-shirt. Um, but I picked it up and it looked cute. I got home and I don't know if you can see like how long it is. It's longer than a dress, longer than a t-shirt. It's to my knees and it's a size small like it's literally so oversized now it's not a problem we can make it work i've already took the tags off um what i'm gonna do is either um like tie it in a little knot to the side or um just tuck it in tuck it into some leather trousers and some boots and it will work so the next thing that I got was this jacket from Primark. Now I've got this in a size small, a 10 to 12, and it is still um, oversized. Um, I wore this the other day and I paired it with um, a khaki bodysuit and some leather trousers and some trainers, and it looks super cute, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, I think that a good jacket will literally see you through autumn, winter, but then in the summer as well, you can pair it over. If it's a little bit more chilly, you can pair it over like your crop tops and your denim jeans. So I think that investing in like shirt jackets are going to be a staple in your wardrobe throughout every season.
Now I've got a few bits that I am going to return and exchange because for some reason or another um, they don't fit or they don't look right but I thought I'd still include them in the video because I am going to um like I do want them again I just want to swap the sizes and this one actually has a hole in. Um, this is the next thing that I got and it's from Primark. Now I've been looking for staple pieces that I can um, layer. Um, so this is a long sleeved bodysuit, which you can see there. Um, and it's got the little button detailing down the front. Now this is such a good piece for layering so you could wear um your blazers over the top or you could wear it on its own with joggers wear a blazer over the top um to smarten it up wear shackets over the top but i think it's just a staple piece for under all your outfits um but it's actually got a hole in so that's going back these are the next thing that i got these are from h&m and they're just a good black jogger so they are cuffed at the ankle which i love um but they are a little bit too big for me, like a little bit too oversized. I wanted them oversized, but these are a little bit too oversized. So these were £12.99. Now, H&M's joggers, I found, are the best. Um, sometimes I get the ones out of Primark in the men's section, but they don't. after a couple of washes, they go, you know, like that like bobbly material, and I don't like that. So, H&M for your joggers. But I'm going to return them and get an extra small because I bought those in a small. Now this coat, um, this again isn't from this year but I'm sure Primark will be doing um, a really really similar version this year. So I bought it last year um, and yeah I think it was last year and I think I paid maybe £35 for it which is a bargain for the coat. The only thing I would say about this coat is after you wear it it gets bobbly but a little hack if you get um, a razor a shaver and just shave the coat and it all comes off so this is what it looks like it's got the little tie detail in here and on the end of the straps it's got like gold detailing which I thought made it look so much more expensive than it was it's got the big pockets on the side now this next piece are these cargo trousers from Primark I actually got these on the sale rack in Primark. You know those little hidden gems, the little hidden hidden rail things that Primark do um, with everything reduced. They're actually £10, but I wasn't too sure about them, but I think they'll look cute with a long sleeve white bodysuit, um, with some little boots, like some chunky boots, uh, with a big puffy jacket for winter. So that is the end of my first YouTube video. Um, that feels mad to say i just want to say thank you for watching um i hope you like it there are going to be mistakes along the way because it is my first video but um over time i'm hoping to grow um growing confidence which will obviously show in my videos um and hope to become a little bit more professional because like i'm filming this on my iphone with a little makeshift stand if you could see the setup in this room right now it would you would laugh it's amazing um but yeah just want to say thank you and let me know in the comments what you want to see if you want to see um any more haul videos if you want to see something completely different i'm open to doing anything um so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video